thing that I brought up in the second half is I really felt like your team grew up today. We grew up today. You know, I, I've always said that when you have so many freshmen out on the field, fresh, any singular freshman, it takes six games to be college lacrosse ready. Um, Today we had a lot of freshmen who did not play like freshmen. We had a lot of team in general that a year ago, you know, I, I just said in a locker room, a year ago there would have been a really great possibility we would have not pulled that out because we were not as in a confident place, not as in a team unified place. All those things make for a huge win for us in our program today. No doubt. And I'm super proud. No doubt. You should be super proud. Mm -hmm. What we talked about was the last time you played and you lost by four mm -hmm. and your ladies last night when I saw them were so excited mm -hmm. to avenge that loss. Yes. But what they had so much poise on the field today. What do you attribute that to? It's very impressive. Well, it's just something that we've we've been doing a lot of talking about and and you know, we have worked with a sports psychologist this year in order to get past some of the hurdles that we hit in the year in, in the year or two uh, ago. And one of those things that we were going to identify when we were feeling like we weren't confident and we were going to identify when we weren't feeling our most focused and we were going to try to regroup and make sure that we went back out on the field knowing full well we might make mistakes but we weren't gonna we were gonna try to not make the same mistake time after time or we were gonna go out and do something that was gonna make up for the mistake we made um, you know when you have all those freshmen out there you make a ton of mistakes a ton but to still come out with a win over over a team that's averaging the number of goals that they're averaging um, and you know we had a goal at halftime to hold them to four and we did so I just you know we're just very focused and that that goes such a long way and I think that we we all want to win together and um, you can feel that on the sidelines and you can feel it at practice and you certainly could feel it on the gate at the game today. Oh, no doubt about yeah. that. I want yeah. to bring up two areas in particular. Mm -hmm. One, because I feel like her numbers don't always reflect how good she is. Mac, particularly in the second half, mm -hmm. was tremendous. And the other one is draw controls. You yeah. bring up how many goals they're scoring, but Costigan has been really dominant in the draw control department yes. and yet you end up winning that battle today. We we really did and, and I think we won, I can't remember what the exact st stat was, but I think we wanted to win six 65% of the draws, did we? Not quite. Not okay, quite. but we were close. Over, it was over Okay, 50. okay. So, um, you know, we had a goal because we'd been so short on the draw. So we tried a couple different things and added a couple more people here and there, and I think that that seemed to work. Um, I, you know, having the height advantage against this team was, was kind of big. So, uh, and we didn't always try to win it our direction, which allowed it to get it to the, the ball to some of our best circle people. So I think that that was big. As far as Mac goes, um, Mac tidied up her game in that second half and she just, she, she made some game-changing um, emotional saves that showed what a great goalie she is and also showed how much she wanted to win the game. And I think that was, you know, some of those saves early on in the second half, th those were turning point saves. And I, you know, I mean, we could feel it. We could feel it on the bench and we could feel it all the way down on the offensive end. So when those happen, it just, it really sparks everybody. So it was great to see that today. And I love that we held them to four like that. It was yeah, no doubt. a good team that has that firepower, we're, we're happy to do that. And you know what? Uh, thanks to our strength and conditioning coach, <laughs> we, we were in much that? better shape than the other team today. <laughs> well, some of your ladies are pretty strong, I <laughs> yeah. have to admit. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> All right, we've gotten this far. Uh -huh. Let's talk about her. Let's do it. Let's oh do it. Oh, my gosh. Five goals, six points. Mm -hmm from a freshman today, and we're about to talk to her. Yes. What else can you say about Caroline Murphy? She's pretty rock and roll, isn't she? She's awesome. Yeah, she is. Uh, you know, Caroline is starting to really work hard on the field in all aspects of her game. Um, you know, sh what I especially love today, sh we know she's a great cutter, and most of the goals, the majority of the goals that she scores off of uh, little backdoor cuts or, or really kind of slipping under, using her size, using her height. Um, and you know what? She always finishes well, and, I, and I'm happy about that. But I was I was loving what I was seeing her do with the ball as well today. To have her have it be, you know, have an assist, have a, a, an unassisted goal, um, where she has up to this point really just had a lot of assisted goals because she's such a great cutter. So, you know, in in three games she has magnified her game threefold. Now, how do you defend that? It's one thing if you are like, hey, this girl's a really good cutter, so we're going to put our best defender who who defends well against. You know, tall cutters. Um, now it's like, who do we put on 
counter. The girl feeds, the girl is a great cutter, and she's taking the ball to the hole. So, you know, those are all really great things, and, and um, we look forward to so much of her in the future and what she can do. Hey, enjoy Florida. Hey, we're going <laughs> to. I'm trying to figure out if I can leave now. <laughs> thank you, guys. Thank you. Great win, and thank you for taking the time. Well, let's